Also, a gentleman who has sold more kitchen appliances than anyone since the beginning of time. The originator of, um, well, uh, let me say here, uh, he has millions and millions of dollars worth of products. Uh, the smokeless ashtray you've seen advertised. Pocket fisherman. The <laughs> well, now, he, we don't know if he was responsible for the pocket fisherman, but a good question. Why don't you take a seat behind the desk, sir? And <laughs> Uh, see, you're right. I was going to say the pocket fisherman, and I was also going to say the vegematic. Uh, it's interesting. Even the vegematic gets a bigger hand than the Iranian hostages. Uh, a sad state of affairs, isn't it? Well, let's call this show off. We're not going on. Um, have I introduced the guest yet? Ron Popeil is here, and we'll find out just exactly... He has many, many wonderful products here tonight, and I'm not sure if the Pocket Fisherman is one of his, and uh, we'll talk about the Vegematic, and we've got a lot of important work to do here tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you spend a lot of time watching television this late at night, you're probably familiar with most of these products that our lovely Carol Merrill is now pointing to. Uh, my next guest is the man responsible for Mr. Microphone, Mr. Dentist, the Miracle Broom, the Miracle Sander, the Miracle Brush, the legendary Vegematic, and a host of other products marketed by Direct TV ads. Please welcome the chairman of Ronco Products, Ronald Popeil. Ronald, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Have a seat. Thank you. Uh, when I, uh, I'll just sit over here. Uh, when I introduced you uh, in the beginning of the show, people were shouting out their favorite Ronco product, and as you may or may not have heard, the Pocket Fisherman came up. Now, is that one of your products? It was a product that I marketed. It was manufactured by my father mm -hmm. uh, under a company called Popeil Brothers. Yeah. But Ronco is, um, uh, today creates and markets the products. Uh -huh. So uh, what about the, uh, the Vegematic, which is, I guess, the first big product for somebody? Was it you or was it Popeil? Well, Popeil Brothers uh, created the product. Um, I was the one who marketed mm -hmm. the product. Mm -hmm. Now, is your father still in business with no, this company? No, he's no longer in business. Okay, so, so uh, it's just... The subsequent products are Ronco products. Okay, and uh, let, let's talk about a few of these. I mentioned in the introduction, uh, Mr. Microphone, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Dentist. Who, uh, who decides that this will be the name for this product? I do. You, you pick the names? And, mm -hmm. and, and how... Uh, uh, what other aspects uh, are you involved in? You, don't, you say you don't really invent these devices, huh? Um... No, I don't invent products. Um, I would like to think I was more of an innovator. Mm -hmm. um, seeing a product um, in the marketplace, either in the foreign marketplace or here, that uh, may be too expensive, uh, maybe the quality isn't built into it, um, what we do is take that product and end up creating a better product at a lower price. Mm -hmm. uh, are some of these products... Um uh, I, and I don't mean this in a negative fashion, but some of them seem to be more gimmick-oriented than, mm -hmm. than, like the pocket fisherman, for example. I mean, um, the premise there was you can put on your business suit, <laughs> take a wallet, take a comb, and, Keep of course, your car. The, the pocket fisherman. Yeah, you always have a, uh, something very, very handy. So uh, are what we're doing here trying to, to sell something to somebody that they don't need, or, or are these legitimate appliances? I think uh, they have to be legitimate. Uh -huh. um, I think there's a need for every product that we've created here, um, from the egg scrambler to clean air machines to smokeless ashtrays, uh, you name it, there's a need for the product. Yeah, and we're going we're gonna to demonstrate a couple of, well, sure. as many as we can. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, again, another question, that uh, is there a lot of money to be made in this sort of thing? Oh, not a lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think since I've started in business, uh, I think sales are close to about a half a billion dollars. Half but, a billion dollars? Yeah, five? Is that time. 500 million? Is that mm, half yes, a billion? I think so. <laughs> oh, heavens. I think so. All right, let's, uh, let's begin. Uh, we're going to start with, uh, do you know the order that we're going to look at these things, Ronald? Or? I, I really don't. But, uh, uh, let's get this one out of the way first. The, uh, the inside egg, the eggshell egg, egg scrambler, right. Okay, now what is the, I'll, I'll hand you, of course, uh, this comes complete with two eggs. Well... Oh, I see what this is. The inside the, the shell egg, the new uh -huh. the egg scrambler, right? Do you know why we created that? No, I don't know why. It's uh, let's let's see what it is. Uh, 
<laughs> no, I really don't know. It says it's terrific for kids who don't like runny egg whites. Which That's is, one reason. Yeah. Uh, for those people out in the audience or at home, um, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Um, one of my favorite dishes happens to be French toast. Consequently, um, the old-fashioned way... Let me have that fork for a second. Okay, this, this would be the old-fashioned yeah, way. You, you take, take one of these old-fashioned forks. You take a fork, and yeah. for you folks who have seen the TV commercial, uh, the normal way of beating up an egg or... Mm -hmm. You get the yeah. idea. And now, you, of course, it, you're exhausted. Yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, 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 that's old-fashioned right here. Uh, okay. The, beating, up, beating an egg with a fork, the, the white of the egg... Uh, it remains constant uh, uh, surrounding the yolk. You never really homogenize the egg white and yolk. Consequently, if you make scrambled eggs, you do have the whites of the egg mm -hmm. running through. Mm -hmm. If you make French toast, if you dip the bread in the egg, the white of the egg sticks along the side of the bread. Consequently, your French toast doesn't look good, and half the time it doesn't taste good. Yeah. So the, we created a product that homogenizes the egg white and the yolk together. Good. Now, let's... Uh... <laughs> do, do you want to use That's this one, the, Ronald? Is this the, are you going to show us, is this the one you're going to use, or is there another one back I here? I take we can use this one here. Okay, let's uh, just pull this out. This is what you get. Yes. And uh, so this uh, ends the drudgery that we saw there. Can I try this, do, or is this? Well, let me first do it and show you how. Okay, great. Because you have a really right, nice yeah. jacket on. Okay. <laughs> this is the uh, Ronco Inside the Shell Egg Scrambler, as... Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? Let me finish my comment with regard to the, the white of the egg. When you homogenize the egg white and the yolk together, when you dip the bread in, the bread absorbs all the egg. Right. Do you cook? Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> but, you know, I may start tonight, what with the advent of this thing. <laughs> Couldn't turn me around on this topic. Balance the egg on the pin. Uh -huh. Okay. So when it you breaks the shell. Yeah. Okay. You push it too hard, though, it's going to get all over you. It's going to bust. Okay. okay. The needle is inside the egg right now. All right. And if you push down, that's right. <laughs> the needle inside is whirling around at pretty high revolutions. Yeah. And that's, that's it. Okay. You want, want to try? Yeah, now, how, now what just, happens there? Just what press down on it just for a second. Okay, you just press down on it? All right. Right, so it's not very, very difficult. That's great. Okay. Okay, now uh, we're going to... Now, gonna... if you hard-boiled it, you okay. end up with a hard-boiled egg let me with no yolk your... in the middle. Let me squeeze that through. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to go away. We'll come back and take a look at the result of the okay. uh, Inside the Egg Scrambler right after you folks take a look at it. <laughs> Uh, Ronald no, no, no. Uh, let, let me, me do, open this. Can let I, me do it. You can open it. Okay, yeah, quickly, because we want to get some okay. more of your products on here. <laughs> okay, so this is how, this is the difference between the regular eggs and the uh, inside the shell scrambled eggs, and it's uh, truly a sight to be seen. There you go. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, like the... uh, let's, let's go on here to, this is a product I've seen advertised recently. This is Mr. Dentist. Mm -hmm. And uh, what does Mr. Dentist do? Mr. Dennis polishes your teeth the same way the dentist does. Uses the same rubber tip and spins around, mm -hmm. except it costs a lot less money to use it. Now, you're, so you're saying here, if you get one of these, you don't have to go to the dentist at all? No, I didn't say that. Oh. If you want to have your teeth polished, mm -hmm. you can't do oh, the I scrapings see. with the metal tools. And this comes metal with tools. Uh, one of these? Yeah, for someone else to use it, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and you can use this on yourself? Yeah. Okay. And I hope so. Then, then, a, then a mirror and a little light? Flashlight yeah. dental mirror, so you can see the back part of your mouth uh -huh. or the inside of your teeth. Uh -huh. And then it all hooks up to this thing well, right that's here. already attached. That's for a second person. Well, you could, you know, do work yeah. this with the eggs, too, I think. <laughs> uh, okay, that's Mr. Dentist. And right. um, I know you had to discontinue Mr. Brain Surgeon. has some problems. Uh, here is, uh, this is Mr. Microphone. Now, this, this uh, I think everybody has seen advertised. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is, who decided that we needed uh, Mr. Microphone? What is I it? Did. Do, okay, and <laughs> and why? And why? I mean, how? Uh, I really wanted to make a lot of money. Yeah, this is a, a, essentially a toy for kids. Uh, it can be. It's used Christmas time basically uh -huh. uh, as gifts for for children, but adults can use it as an amplifying system. Uh, and this one's AM radio included with eight foot connecting cord, complete right. broadcasting system. Right. 
That's how Ted Turner started, ladies and gentlemen. He, oh, he didn't start this. <laughs> so uh, show us what this does here. You just turn the radio on, you talk in, and you broadcast through the radio. Uh -huh. That's basically all you do. Yeah. Shall I do that for you? Well, if you can. I don't know. I don't know, know if got so much stuff going on here that... Uh... Is this a really popular item? Very successful, yeah. yeah. Testing one, two, three. Yeah. But it has a button on the back that allows you to... to uh... <laughs> it has a button on the back that when the music plays on the AM, AM radio that you can sing along with the music. Yeah. Or... <laughs> the AM radio won't work, or I'd like to. <laughs> I don't sing too well. No, it's, it's, we're probably getting some interference yeah. from this cheap RCA uh, equipment here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The, uh, uh, this differs from the Mr. Microphone, which doesn't use a radio. This is the complete system. That, no, this is the Mr. Microphone 2. It comes with the radio. Uh -huh. A regular Mr. Microphone, such as back here, right, here we have the, the you turn thing. your FM radio to an FM station, and it broadcasts through the FM station without any attaching yeah. wires. Okay. okay. What, what is... It's alive. What is... Um, you better... <laughs> what is the... Uh... Let me turn that on. That's good. What is the uh, best-selling item in the line currently? Probably the clean air machine. Clean air machine? Have we got one? Of, we have one of those? Well, first, let me, because uh, th this is something that I might use. This Auto is, cup? yeah, show us how this works. What is, I've seen this advertised. What do you do there? It was designed for people who um, are on their way to work in the morning in their car, and they'd like a hot cup of coffee or tea, mm -hmm. and it allows them to um, move in a vehicle, uh, whether it be a boat or a car, and drink liquid. So, and this, because of this, right. oh, heavens. Oh, I see, and it just, it pours out of the top. Just oh, like, that. like that. There you go. It, it comes complete with liquid in it, then. That's nice. <laughs> liquid included. Uh, I mean, this is, let me just uh, turn this off because we're getting, uh, I don't know what we're getting. There, oh, you, there go. you go. Now, the, uh, you mentioned one other one, the clean air clean machine. machine. All right, sir. Let me get Mr. Sponge and kind of clean up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, this is the clean air machine, and mm -hmm. this is this is the one that you're the most proud yeah, this of, is, right? I think the finest product that we've ever produced. All right. Or there's nothing better. And it was designed to remove cigarette smoke, uh, pollen, dust, odors from a room. I think it's the best product ever made. Yeah, and it uh, just it sucks the air uh, through uh -huh. the... Uh, Continuously. Yeah. It works 24 hours a day. And it, this would be good for people who are uh, allergenic? Bath well, in the summertime, yes, because it takes out pollen and dust uh -huh. out of the air. Yeah. Um, bathrooms and kitchens for odors, etc. Is, is, is the Vegematic still being made? I know you mentioned that with no, your it father. No, it's, it's It's off the market altogether. Right. Uh -huh. uh, can I... Maybe go home and fire that one up, huh? Uh, this is this is fascinating. I, I'm I'm happy that you came by here with your stuff and uh, good heavens, continued success. Not thank that you, you need much. any uh, good luck from us, but thank you very much, Ronald Popeil, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we'll we'll be right back. <laughs>